Okay, Jesse Manny. Chunks are good on both sides. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you to keep this fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Over 17,000 here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Brian Kenny, Tim Bradley, Stephen A. Smith. Nothing like Michael Buffer yeah. asking, are you ready? <laughs> yes, we are ready. I love, ready. I ready love it. Run, We're ready. Baby. We're ready. Saddam Ali is the name you kept hearing in Timothy Bradley. He's going against Manny Pacquiao now. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I've heard a lot, Brian. Let's find out now. Round one underway. And Senator Pacquiao gets into the center of the ring. Tim, the first time you were in there with Pacquiao, no matter what you're watching tape, what's different when you get in there and you see him up close? Now his presence, I go back to his presence, man. He always have you on edge. He has right now, he has Vargas on edge right now. Right now, he's burning, he's burning his gas tank right now. Just see the how pressure. Vargas, just the pressure, his presence. He's always inching forward. He's always using feints, moving his head from out too far. Sometimes Jesse Vargas got to step to him with that jab. Stick that jab out there when he's moving his head from too far out. The, you thing, know? the thing that has gotten most everyone through these last, uh, last decade or two with Manny Pacquiao, especially remember the classic with Juan Manuel Marquez in that first round, the electrifying speed. Yes. You just cannot believe how fast he is. He closes the distance so fast all the time. You know, and, and, and Jesse Vargas can't allow him to close the distance, you know, and, and, and if he feels he's safe at any point in that ring, he's really not. Because that's how fast Manny Pack out close the distance. Jesse in Vargas fires out a jab and a right hand, and a jab once again trying to get that distance. Manny Pacquiao has been around for quite a long time. There's very, very few people that have been able to stop him from closing the distance. Well, what I like from Jesse right now is, is that he's controlling that gate right now. He's been the guards, man. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. That's what he's going to have to do all night against Manny Pacquiao. What about Vargas and the, the distance of his legs? I just spread way out, giving away that height. Yeah. Just nervous? No, that's just his style. He likes to keep his legs Come out. Come on, Timmy. Spread out like that. Oh. He's got to be a little nervous. Oh, yeah. Come on, Timmy. I, he, oh, I, like I told you, it's his Pacquiao's presence. Yeah, he keeps injured forward. I mean, he's ready to strike at all times like he need to be. But I'm telling you, it takes from the gas tank. It does. You got to be aware of that. Jesse Vargas, 27 years old. His one loss to the man to my right here, Timothy Bradley, as Pacquiao steps in. You can hear this crowd. Nice right hand by Jesse Vargas right there. Nice left hand by Pacquiao. Slightly blocked. Vargas has that, uh, that right hand responsibly up in front of his face, which is a good idea when you're fighting Pacquiao. That left hand is dangerous. That's all I'm going to tell you. Pacquiao's last fight. April of this year, it was an impressive win over the man to my right, Timothy yes. Bradley. Yes, By the way, was. I thought he looked tremendous in that fight. You, you saw that. Because yes. you, you beat him the first time. Yes. You're on your way to beating him the second time. Third time, he yeah. looked a little different, didn't he? Yeah, you know what? He was he was just patient. He was super patient. I was expecting him to attack me a lot more. That's what I was prepared for. But he was patient. He was relaxed. Well, why didn't you adjust to that patience? <laughs> Vargas fires back a right hand to keep him off. Oh, as things get feisty at the end of round, Antonio Barrera, same thing. Yeah. Yes, but you wonder, at 37, can the energy be sustained? Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about that. Pacquiao looks to get it going now. <laughs> Slips that and fires back. Not much damage. A little more action, though. Vargas slips in a left hand. Caught him on the way in. Yeah. And Pacquiao doesn't want to get caught on the way in. We know this. Can you try feints, Tim? Because that looks like Vargas is trying that. Does that work? Oh! Straight oh, to go. That fast. It can happen that fast. Pacquiao puts Vargas down. Final seconds.
Brown gets fired. Just pay attention to that. One other thing, Brian, you see how wide Vargas' legs are spread? <laughs> oh, oh, hit him again with the left hand. And another one. Pacquiao looks fluid with the combinations. He fast and hard. Fast and hard punches. And Vargas still looks a little tight. Well, normally if a guy has his legs spread yes. like that, you're, ner you're tight. You're nervous and you're, yes. on, you're on guard, which you should be. Yeah. But you're not fighting tall. He's got four inches of, of height on him. And he can't get out of the way. That's a tough jab. Pacquiao just nailed him on the way in. Pacquiao's really starting early. Vargas is letting him. Now, look at Manny dancing around. And lands a left hand. No, you're right. He is, he is energized. With all the politics and all his busy schedule and all of that, you know what? He finds time to train. You say all of that, too, of but that. here's the deal. Vargas he looks slower. Obviously is slower. Tight. Legs spread apart. Man, he's stepping on his foot when he's throwing punches. Beautiful tactic. He had an 18-week training camp. Not purposely. 19. 19 weeks. 19 weeks. Not purposely because he, he had a fight with Cal Brook, and it fell out. He took two weeks off, got in the training camp because he, he landed the pack out fight. And I feel that he might he might be overtrained for this fight. Mikel Brook, yeah. Look yeah. at the Brook fight, got the Golovkin fight instead. That shot, I don't know if Kenny Bayless said that was low or to the side. Was that an illegal said it was shot? Low. Are y'all watching yes. how slow Vargas looks with that left hook? Yes. Well, well, comparatively. I'm talking, no, no, I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about with his own left hook. Manny Pacquiao even in the vicinity. Oh, he was going to caught him with the right, hurt, right there. He hurt Manny Pacquiao with that one. Ah, uh, not hurt. No, he stung not him. Not hurt. He Jimmy. stung him. Hard right hand by Jesse Vargas. He stung him. What's your definition that of hurt? That stung him. Shot as he stung him. The round. 144. He debuted at 106. He was a world champion at 112 pounds. I mean, this is not even his weight class. It's where the money is. See Pack out now dropping 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 punches down to the body now. Jesse Vargas need to be, be cautious there. If he start dropping shots at the bottom, he's gonna surprise him up top. He's getting more active though, throwing more punches. Every left hook, Vargas misses by a mile. Pacquiao looking for his opening. Jumps in with a lead left. And which side was he on? Was he on his right side when he did that? Left. He was on his right side when he did that. He was that. on his right. Pack out, so, yeah. So he's trying to catch him going through and again does that. Oh, and a lead right nice shot by nice Vargas. Vargas has a lot of power in that right hand. Yes, he does. He's turning it over now. That's what his trainer said. He said that, you know, they, they use a different technique now. He's teaching them how to turn his punches over, how to get leverage behind his shots, putting his hip into it. Well, you were beating him most every round when you fought him, Tim, and yeah. then he caught you, had you hurt late. Yeah. He did, but I, I made a mechanic, big mechanical mistake, mistake when I fought him, and uh, I know that now. Pacquiao got to be careful with that big shot, I'm telling you. It's tricky. Pacquiao doing all sorts of movement. Stepping in, Vargas trying to impose his will, stand his ground. A lot of people don't really talk about Manny Pacquiao's defense. I've been in there with him. He's tough to hit. He is tough to hit. He blocks a lot of shots off his arms. You know, he moves his head just a bit. You know, gets out of range with his feet. He's very difficult, man. He's in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Head is always moving. In this fight, feet are always moving. <laughs> Unloads with the left hand. And the right hand fires back. Spirited round as Vargas. Yeah. You don't hear that too often. You don't hear that too often. Well, you want to get fired up because, again, Manny Pacquiao is the happy warrior in there. But Vargas seems to be enjoying You have to relish the combat. Yeah. You've got, and I think that's what we're getting here. Well, he's the champion. And he's fighting like a champion. Pacquiao, Jesse Vargas here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Over 16,000 here tonight. Pacquiao. Wages on at the age of 37. Get three-time fighter of the year.
He had that electrifying run of De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto. Everybody's got a Pacquiao so far. I thought Cotto was his most impressive fight. Yes, yes. I, he had to he had to wade through the fire of a prime Miguel Cotto. Prime Miguel Cotto. And, and willing you, to take the fire in order to get through and land his own shots. And he finally broke down a guy who would many years later become the middleweight champion of the world. Well, some, some will say that Cotto was drained going in that fight. You know, Cotto should have moved up in weight. Um, you know, before that fight, he should have moved up in weight. He, he was, say he you was know, drained. He was also so much bigger than Manny Pacquiao in that fight. I mean, that, remember the first time when he fought De La Hoya and moved up in weight, we thought, oh my God, this guy can't fight these big guys. Yeah, yes, he can. Good right hand by Vargas. Vargas now trying to find some distance. He is. He's controlling that game pretty good right now. I mean, he, you know, he's uh, he's not throwing his jab, you know, with consistent conviction. But you know, he's pawing, he's landing that right hand that will like that every time. Every time Manny Pacquiao steps back, he's he's following him with the straight right hand. He has a four-inch reach advantage. He's using it pretty well right now. He's swelling on the right side of Jesse Vargas. Take a better look at that eye. He wheels around, but he is taking some good hard shots from Pacquiao's left hand. Well, he'll need to use that jab more and more extensively because that right <laughs> eye is damaging anyway. Good Ooh. shot right there. Nice right hand by Jesse Vargas as well. Coming right, off, coming right off the jab as well. Ooh. Yeah, that right eye is swelling shut. He's some straight left hand. Yeah, he's, he's susceptible to Pacquiao's left. Everybody seems to be. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Except the guy sitting behind us. It's just so fast. He steps in. It's just so fast. Vargas with some body work. And then to the head. Willing to engage. Oh, straight left hand. That was quick. Different rhythm on that. Vargas right now is behaving like a champion. He's standing there. He's standing his ground. He is, he is defending his title right now. Jumps in again with that left hand. Lead left. It's a and point, but it ain't hurt. Yep. Oh, nice right hand. Nice shot to the right. Firing to the very bell. You gotta keep moving those feet. Again, Vargas dips down. Gets yep. that right on the waistline. Jesse Vargas said he was feeling stronger about two rounds ago. Man, you've got to have a lot in the tank to stay with this guy. Yes, you do. Even at 37. Yes, you do. Manny Pacquiao is non-stop. That's why they call him Pac-Man. He can change gears at any time, too. But I like what I'm seeing from Vargas right now. I like this before this round. He, listen, he's, he's, he's trying to set up that right hand. It looks like he's being patient. But he's still taking shots. He's taking me? shots. I know he is. But so how do you like it then? No, you don't I like, I like, no, I just see, I just see what he's trying to do. He's trying to, he's trying to get Pac out to get relaxed. He's trying to land an old hand. I'm telling you, he's so, he's really sneaky with it. Okay. That's his trick punch. Stephen A., I know what you're saying, though. It's going to come down to rounds. Yeah. As we get someone starts, which can happen, but it's going to come down to winning rounds. Guys, and let, that was a Pacquiao round. That was a you Pacquiao know, round. Let's be reminded. of the Philippine Senate, and he said, look, it's either singing lessons, basketball, or something. You know, this is more serious, obviously, what he's doing for his country at the Philippines, but Freddie Roach said he likes a full plate. Take a look at the punches so far. Pretty close. Just a good fight. It's a good, good scrap fight. so far. It's a good fight. It's high good energy, fight. high work rate. Another jab by Pacquiao. And here's what the people are saying. Against Stephen A, you're doing the scoring. Fight. And Vargas says, bring it. And Vargas is bringing it. Yes, he is. Lands a hook as well. Pacquiao moves in. Timmy said it. He's looking for it. There it is. Oh. Pacquiao comes in. And they clashed heads there as well. The blood flows from Jesse Vargas right above his nose. 
Fires off a right hand. Pacquiao so dangerous as he steps in. I think Jesse Vargas is fighting the best fight that he can fight right now. I know he's getting hit with shots, but you know what? He's returning fire as well. He's fighting like he's behaving like a champion. And now he pawns at his own blood as Pacquiao. In between all these shots, though, Vargas is firing back. Let's be clear. He is. We're still losing this round, guys. Yes, he is losing this round. Nice right hand at the end. Let him to right. They have it. Fighting. Manny Pacquiao, 37 years old, the older man in the ring by 10 full years. Jesse Vargas, the pride of Las Vegas. He's the one with the WBO belt. And he's made a good account of himself here. Tim Bradley, you said that he's fighting the belt. That guy got his hands up there. He blocked those shots. Straight right hands from Vargas. Tries to go to the body as well. Pacquiao has displayed a good jab in this fight. Back out there Especially again. Especially this round. There you go. Moving to his moving to his right and throwing that left down the pipe. Pacquiao comes in with his body shot. Now Pacquiao seems like he's trying to break him down now. Going down to that body. Jesse Vargas looked like he's he's took he's took the foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Yeah, his mouth his mouth is open too, Tim. He's sucking in some more air. Yeah. So all the starch has been taken out of Jesse Vargas as we here we go, tenth round. Good combination by Pacquiao. And again. I told you that when Manny smells, he's like a shark. When he smells blood, he goes and gets it. Yeah, and he can sense a little bit of the fighting spirit exactly. on the wane on Jesse Vargas. Exactly, and that's why he's starting to turn it up. That's experience. All he got to do is stay away from the straight right. I mean, Jesse Vargas can't hit, can't connect on the left hook to save his life. He's missed him all game, all fight, yeah. all night. Yeah. <laughs> We are a much more humane sport now than we used to be. Yes. If you watch the old fight films, blood would be flowing. They wouldn't even be thinking about stopping it. Good right hook by Pacquiao, yeah. and he follows up. A speed. Manny Pacquiao has, has figured him out at this point. He's figured him out at this point. Jesse Vargas is just standing still. He's just a sitting duck right now. Manny Pacquiao is doing whatever he wants. Oh, nice clean right hand by Jesse Vargas right there. Slipped that right in. The thing I like about, about Vargas is he's always ready in position to strike. You have to be that way against Manny Pacquiao. Good jab again. The answer's with a hook. Jab by Pacquiao. But Vargas, he tried the overhand right yep. right there. Yep. He didn't get a chance to turn. He didn't turn it over. Mm -hmm. He slapped him with it. Well, again, just to point out in the fight that Vargas had with you, Tim Bradley, again, he had you wobbled in that the last, last 30 time. seconds, and that's after losing a lot of rounds. And you're a very tough guy. To, you're a physical guy to fight. Yeah. It just shows you something of his spirit, that he is, he is not a guy who will go away. No. Not and, at all. And he still wants those seven seconds back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Well, he can't get. Pacquiao came out and landed. Crawford, Errol left. Spence. Errol Spence is. I love that guy. Strong jabs from Manny Pacquiao. Here are the punches. Through round 10, Pacquiao outlanding Vargas, according to CompuBox, throwing about 100 more punches as well. Hey, he is fired up in this round. Yes, he I mean, he's is. fired up every round, but this is something. Oh, yeah. Putting his foot on the accelerator. Vargas takes a deep, deep breath oh. and a wild right hand. He landed it high on the head. If he landed that on the chin, Pacquiao might have been on Chris Street. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's a hard shot. People doing the voting on Twitter going all Pacquiao. There's only one even round. But the guy who did the best against Pacquiao, I think, Tim, is you. Actually, it was you. Hey. I, I... <laughs> Look, Mark has 
you know, they went tooth and nail. They had classics, right? Yeah. And, and so they had class, a classic trilogy with Eric Morales. Well, you got Mayweather. And Floyd Mayweather. Out Mayweather, of course. Yeah. Of course. Floyd is the master defensive fighter of the generation. I think Mayweather kept him under 100 punches landing. He comes in. Oh. Vargas caught him with a shot he on the way in. Co caught him coming in. Caught him with that hook, too. Marcus blinking out the blood. Mouth is open, sucking in air. But he is still game and still trying. Back out over here looking at Floyd Mayweather. Is that who he smiled to? That looked like was he was smiling. He wasn't smiling at me. He no? was smiling at Mayweather. Floyd <laughs> <laughs> shrugs and says, what do you want from me? Just watch. Ain't that wrong one get hit, wanting to get paid? That's a window. Well, I don't that was know. a short left hand from Pacquiao on the way in. Now, you, Tim, you're right. You barely see it. Yes. It comes right off, and it, it's just thudding in its power. Yes. Uh, Manny Pacquiao has broken. He's broken uh, Jesse Vargas down a bit. He's not afraid of his arsenal now. Now he's pushing forward, putting his foot on the gas pedal, and uh, he's trying oh. to take out Jesse Vargas. That's being ruled a slip. It looked like Pacquiao hit him with a right hook. Yeah, but that feet were tangled tripped. up. His feet, yeah. his feet were tangled up. I think you're right. Oh, uh, got it. Pacquiao stumbles back, and we're done with round 11. Coming in, but still stayed up and remained in attack mode. Yes. 12th and final round. Jesse Vargas is the champ. He's the man with the belt. Obviously, we know Pacquiao is the legend coming back. Had retired briefly. Coming back tonight, and at 37, he has looked full energy right now Jesse Vargas right now he needs a miracle right now he needs to land that overhand right if he can he needs to find a way to land that punch he is trying right there blocked by Pacquiao but he's game every second there's another a sharp left hook miss from Vargas has connected on that punch all night yeah and a straight lead left hand from Pacquiao Pacquiao went to his right again. He's not aware of that. Pacquiao's really good at that. That's like his bread and butter shot right there. Vargas goes to the body. Oh, and then again for that. Pacquiao makes him pay on the way in. But did you see where he threw that punch from? He hmm. threw it from like his, almost his hip. You know, Vargas is expending so much energy, Tim. It's a point you brought up early. He's expending so much energy just standing there yes. while Pacquiao is completely still. Yes. Except when he's firing. <laughs> Halfway through the final round, and Jesse Vargas has made Manny Pacquiao earn it. Put up a good showing. It's not over yet, but he definitely put up a good showing, Jesse Vargas. And I think he's done a, he did a lot better than what people expect. Well, I'm not sure about that. He didn't do bad, but I'm no. not sure people expected that much. A big he put up a good, yeah. he, put, he picked up a good. He picked. He, you know, he actually fought well. Every media member that was asked about this said, "Boy, I really like Vargas, but, but, but he's not going to win any fight." I'm, I'm not saying him. he's going to win the fight, but I was saying that he's put on a good showing. No, oh, yes, absolutely. You know, he's not no running doubt. around. So you like moral victories? It's good. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. they can lead to bigger I'm not, victories. I'm not moral sure. victories. I'm just saying, not more. Come on, moral victories. The win. <laughs> it's all about winning. Period. That's he's, what it's he's about. He's tweaking you. He's cheap shot. It's <laughs> about winning. It's about winning. <laughs> he's, that's, I'm gonna take all a right. point away, Steve. Hey, hey, come on. Yeah, one more time. Come on, Steve. Final 30 well, seconds. I'm just saying, you sitting up here talking about, oh, hey, boy, you know, he did better than people expected. <laughs> Let's see if they can close the show. Yes. Pacquiao weighs in, taps the gloves. to one knee. Kenny Bellis calls it a slip. Wow. And that's it. Even power. Manny Pacquiao looked tremendous. Tremendous. Fought every 10 second stanza of every minute of every round. Jesse Vargas did everything I could. He could. He could Tim, I agree with you. Could.
He fought the best that he possibly he, could. There's only so the much best. he can do. Yes. yes. Stepping up a level above. Pacquiao, this is why he's one of the all-time greats. You know, we showed the the clips before the fight, and you saw a, a lot of Alexis Arguello. Right. Even Agu Arguello went from 126 up to 140, where he was stopped by Aaron Pryor. Yes. Pacquiao has gone from 112 pounds to 147. Guys that size just never come up to this level. And yet, he still could be the number one guy of a very talented welterweight division. He is the number one guy. Let's watch again. You're saying that. You yes, think he's number he one. Is. Pick it up in round two. It was slow in the early going, but then the quick left hand coming off and dropping Jesse Vargas in the second round. From there, Pacquiao coming in with the power shots. Vargas answering with his right hand throughout. Yes. And he had his moments where he landed some hard shots. I would expect Vargas, I'm not scoring it, Tim. I would expect Vargas to take some of those middle rounds. I would think. Some, well, some of them. You know, I, then I, there didn't was score, the, I didn't score the fight. Then there was a cut. Again, that was ruled from a punch, and I think they may have gotten that accurately. We thought initially yeah. that it was from a clash of heads. Right. Quite possibly it was from a punch. And in, in a very crowded division, I mentioned Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Kel Brook, Tim Bradley, Sean Porter, Errol Spence, and Jesse Vargas was in the top ten. And he threw over 560 punches, but only landed 104. Constant head movement from Pacquiao. Constant Tim. head movement from Pacquiao. Constant punching from Pacquiao. Landing in straight left. Straight here's how left you, down the pipe. And here's how you judged it at home against Stephen A. Smith. Said he had it Pacquiao, but the people at home had it Pacquiao going away. Didn't give Vargas one round. Not had one that round. six round even. Glenn Feldman, Dave Moretti, Glenn Trowbridge are the judges. And we will hear from them now. Let's go to Michael Buffer. By way of win results, we go to the scorecards. Dave Moretti scores at 114 to 113. Glenn Drobig scores it 118 to 109. Glenn Philbin has it 118 to 1.